If you're always having problems creating product images because you don't have the tools or the imagination is just not there, well, I do recommend that you start using AI. In this case, I'm going to show you Alibaba's International Designs Pick Copilot to create these product images, and it's going to be super easy. Let me show you how right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? I'm going to show you Pick Copilot, and they do have a free plan, so go check that out right now in the link in the description. Now, like I said, this is from Alibaba International Design, and I'm going to show you how you're going to use it. They have four main tools, which is the background remover, image translator, instant backgrounds, and AI fashion models. Plus, they have templates that you can use right away. In this case, let's get started with the first one, which is background remover. All you have to do is upload an image that you have a product on. In this case, I'm going to upload a cup from my business, which is Cafecio, and I'm going to select, for example, this image. Let's go ahead and open this up, and it's going to remove the background. Now, we have the option to upload more photos. In this case, we're just going to upload this one. Let's go ahead and click on remove, and it's going to do its magic. So let's give it a few seconds. Oh, there we go. It's done. So we got the image with my cup with the background removed. So now I can use this for other purposes. Now, if the background remover kind of did a bad job, you have the option to edit this and you can do undo, redo, zoom out, zoom in, fit to screen, drag, background color, preview, brush, eraser, and fix. So there's several options that are available here that you don't see on other AI removers. So you got better options here for removing. Now let's go ahead and upload a new image. Let's go ahead and select this one. Let's click on open. Okay, let's do the remove and give it a few seconds for the AI to remove the background. Here we go. The background has been removed. You can see here, you can see I can edit this. I can download it or delete it. So it's super easy and straightforward to remove backgrounds. Now let's go back and return the image translator. I mean, once you upload an image and it has some text, you can go ahead and translate it. So if you click on the image translator, go ahead and upload a photo. I don't have something right now to translate the image, but I'm going to show you the use case and how it's going to be used. OK, so once the image is uploaded, go ahead, go ahead and select the original language. Um, most cases, it's going to be English and then translate it to a different language and go ahead and translate it. So it's super easy and straightforward. Now, the next one I want to show you is the instant backgrounds. So it's going to remove the background. Plus, we can add backgrounds to this. So let's upload an image. And again, I'm going to select this one. For example, I'm going to open this up. OK, let's go ahead and confirm the upload. There we go. It just removed the background and I'm going to select the type of style that I want to use. In this case, there's categories and there's scenes. In this case, I'm going to grab this one, the style. There's a several types of styles. Let's go ahead and generate this one to get started and see the results. You can see I have some history here of some other results. For example, my cup in the road, in different scenes, in different tables, and all of this done with Pick Copilot. OK, so let's give it a few seconds for the results. There we go. So now we got the new scene here in this floor type. So it really looks nice. And obviously, this could be something else. It doesn't have to be a cup. It could be a tool, a phone, a tablet, a, a, I don't know, a smart device, etc., and have it removed. Here's another one that it generated for me. So it's super easy to do this. Let me go ahead and generate a new one. So let's go back. Let's go into this and back remover. Let me go ahead and upload a, an image right here. Just took a screenshot of it. Let's go ahead and open this up. OK, here we go. It got on point. Let's go ahead and confirm the upload. And again, we're going to select one of the styles here and I'm going to select um, this one. It's kind of beach style. Let's go ahead and generate it and see what it's going to do for us. There we go. It's now done and we have our background image now there. You can see it even created the the shadow on this one. So it makes it more realistic. Let me go ahead and select another one. Here's this one. OK, here we go. It even got the shadow with a little bit of brown since the liquid is brown, like it's a coffee. So it did a good job on this and you can go ahead and select this and do something else. For example, this one, let's go ahead and generate and see what it's going to do for us. OK, here we go. And this like more magical style. It even added some little um, sparkles here on the top going from this to make it make it pop. Let's go ahead and check this one out. And here's another one that it created. Now we can change the size of this if we want to make it fit in a different type of style. I can go ahead and select it and change the style here, make it bigger, smaller, etc., and then generate it based on the size that I'm going to use. And it'll work based on that size. Now let's go check out the next tool, which is AI fashion models. 
I think this one is my favorite. Now it gives you an example of how you need to upload the photo and what you can't upload. So in this case, I am going to upload a photo of my wife to give you an example of how it works. I think it's a pretty cool tool. Now, let me go ahead and select this one. So let's wait for this to detect the AI apparel. Okay, here we go. It just detected the clothing here, but you can see there's a little issue here. We need to select that. So let's go ahead and edit selection area. Okay, here we go. And we need to confirm that that little black right here on the shirt, we need to confirm that it, that is part of the clothing. So now I've selected it. You can see it's now selected. Let's go ahead and complete selection. Let's confirm the upload. And the really cool part about, cool part about this is that you can have one model, model the clothing and have a bunch of AI models generated for your product post. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to select this one right here. I'm going to select black hair for her and I'm going to select her in the street. Let's go ahead and generate now. And it's going to put the clothing on that AI model. You're going to see how cool this is. Let's give it a few seconds. There we go. It now added my wife's clothing into this AI model. That means that you can have a clothing store and have one picture and then add it to different models right here. So you have different models to obviously do post on. Now that's pretty cool, right? So it generated the same post and it generated the clothing that she had. So this is perfect for someone who has a store that sells clothing. Okay. Now we can generate another one. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and select her and we're going to add red hair and we're going to select a studio scene. Let's go ahead and create this one. Okay. So here we go. We got the next model here, different face, and we got our clothing on this model, but you get the idea, right? It has the clothing from the original model. So that means that you can generate multiple posts with different models using this tool. That's pretty cool, right? And the last one I want to show you is these, they got several templates where you can use your products in these templates. Now it's pretty cool because you can add the template. So, and you can go ahead and edit it afterwards. So for example, I'm going to use this one. And again, I'm going to upload my business cup right here. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. There we go. We just use the template, but with our cup inside of here. Now we can go ahead and edit the details here. So if this is about coffee, well, I'll just change this text. And each element that I select, it's going to give me the option to change colors, text, fonts, etc. for this particular template. So it's super useful. It saves you time because it's going to do the background removal and it's going to add the template that you like, and then you tweak it to your liking and you're good to go for posting. So it's a really great way to create these product images. So it's super useful. Now, if you want to check out other products that Alibaba International Design has, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. They got Lubin AI and they also have D design. If you want to check it out. So that's a wrap for pick copilot. Go ahead and check it out and use the free version. And if you need more limits, go ahead and jump into the paid plans. And that's a wrap.